Uh, hey there everybody just doing a review for this hop crew uh, 6000 peak current portable jump starter and so yeah this is a lot of power for a jump starter most of the jump starters that you've probably seen over on amazon or probably in retail stores are like 1000 to 2000 maybe 3000 peak current uh, jump starters this one takes it to a whole nother level um because you know 6000 peak current is a lot of power and that can jump start basically any battery um you know once again like the likeliness of being able to jump start a dead battery is pretty high with this powerful of a peak current and uh, i'm going to be taking a look at the jump starter itself in just a second but first uh, let's go over the accessories that's included in the box and also the box itself um so yeah this is the box that the unit comes in as you can see 6000 um amp uh, peak current all gas and all diesel engine vehicles are able to be jump started as long as they use a 12 volt uh, battery so yeah that's how serious this is um because you know with some jump starters they have like you know a range of like maybe eight liter and six liter diesel engines and eight liter uh, gas engines but this one is all of it um so yeah there are really no limits in this case and of course with these type of capabilities this unit is a bit on the high price um i will have a link to the product page uh, for this jump starter down in the description below but uh yeah it does come at a bit of higher price than um than a uh, lower peak current jump starters um it does have a usb c power delivery port that's able to output 60 watts of power delivery and input 60 watts of power delivery and uh, over on this side it does give you a few specifications um yeah this is the hop crew model h6 the start voltage is 12 volts dc output it does have a dc port a uh, dc barrel port that's able to output uh, 10 amps at 12 volts 120 watts right there uh peak current as i mentioned before quite a few times already um 6, 000, uh the usb type a output is 18 watts and the type c output is uh, 60 watts and the input is also 60 watts i will be testing out the charging ports in this review as well and I was taking a look over the back. Oh, yeah, same thing as the front. And over on this side, it does give you um, some directions on how to use the uh, jump starting capabilities of it. And so what's included in the box is a um, carrying case. Yeah, this carrying case is nice. Um, really happy that it came with a carrying case, especially, you know, when you consider the price of it. You're able to fit all the accessories that um, come with the jump starter. And you can also fit the jump starter itself inside the box as well. Um, and yeah, so yeah, really spacious in here. Yeah, so what's included in the box also, you get the jump starting clamps as well right over here. Um, pretty well built. You also get this uh, DC to car socket outlet. Um, adapter that you can connect into the DC barrel port on the jump starter directly. Um, I think I will be able to test out the DC barrel port on the jump starter um, right over here uh, with the bodega cooler that I have right over there that I'm still working on the review for um, because uh, that bodega cooler is able to be powered from a DC cigarette lighter port and that's exactly what I have right here. So I will be trying out um the dc barrel port on this uh, jump starter to see how it performs um if i can get it working that is uh but yeah i will be doing that eventually um and this is the 60 watt usb c power delivery wall charger included in the box as well so you get a way to recharge the unit in the box uh, you also get a usb c to usb c cable included in the box so yeah that's great um and so right over here i think what what is this um scan with transparency app to learn more um Okay, view usage guidelines over on this side just give you a uh, email, a phone number, and also their website that you can contact them with. And also you get the manual in the box as well. And uh, yeah, that's really about it. Um, just tells you how to use it, a few warnings, and also a few labels um, for what's on the jump starter itself. And also what's included in the box right over here. <laughs> and also, yeah, just pushing everything aside and taking a look at the h6 uh hop crew jump starter yeah it is a uh, fairly uh large unit not too big it does have a nine by four by seven inch uh, form factor i think the uh, seven inches that i saw on the product page is uh, including the uh handle at the top when you have it unfolded i think without the handle it would be like a four inch uh, height or maybe a five inch height but uh yeah anyways it does weigh about six pounds i think six or seven pounds but but yeah anyways it's not exactly a large unit it does have a 32,000 million hour capacity um you're gonna be able to store this in your car especially with the uh carrying case it's not going to take up too much space it's not like a power station although i would consider this to be the size of a mini power station but yeah anyways um over at the front you do get a few buttons this one is going to be the power button that you just press it once it shows the battery percentage uh this is the flashlight button you can press that once or no you got to hold it down to activate the flashlight over to the side 
and that's a and that's able to activate the 400 lumen led flashlight um yeah fairly bright it has like you know a film over it so it's not one of those piercing led lights that you find on some power stations and some power banks um so that's pretty nice uh, it's going to be like easy on the eyes in case you're stranded at night and your battery is dead you can use this you can just press it one more time get into the flashing mode press it one more time it get it gets uh into the sos mode and uh that's about it yeah pretty uh helpful flashlight um i think yeah this is the jump starter button i think this is the override button actually um i think by default when you connect the jump starter clamps into the jump starter ports over on this side the uh, jump starter automatically detects that you're trying to jump start a car and it i think it shows the voltage on the screen i will be testing that out in this review as well but uh yeah there is a override feature so in case you're dealing with a fully dead battery you can actually just hold this button down right here and just like that it uh, activates like the override um feature which outputs as much power to a dead battery as possible uh, because I think with normal, um, you can hear it clicking right there, <laughs> because I think with normal uh, jump starting, it detects the voltage of the battery and it outputs as much power needed to jump start your battery, um, a weak battery that is. But uh, in this case, that override feature outputs everything as much as possible in order to jump start a uh, dead battery. And under this flap right over here, uh, the, it does have the charging ports. As I mentioned before, this is the USB-C 60 watt power delivery port. This is the type A quick charge port that's able to output 18 watts. And this is the uh, DC barrel port that's able to output 120 watts. Um, and you know, this is also the port that I can use this uh, DC to a cigarette lighter port um, adapter with. And I'm gonna be testing that out in just a second. But uh, yeah, anyways, um, yeah, that is the, and so yeah, over on this side, this is where you would input the uh, jump starting clamps. And over the back, it does give you some directions on how to use the jump starting and some cautions and suggestions as well over the back. Over the bottom, it does give you the specifications, you know, pretty lightly right there. Product information does have these rubber pads to make sure that the uh, jump starter itself doesn't get scraped up. And uh, yeah, overall, that's about it. It does have the handle at the top, pretty easy to carry handle. Um, you can just fold it completely into the unit itself. And um, so what I'm going to start out with is testing out the charging ports first. I want to see if I can actually charge a laptop and um, charge fast charge my phone at the same time using the charging ports. And uh, yeah, I will be right back. All right, guys. So I am testing out the charging ports uh, right over here with the Hop Crew uh, jump starter. And so uh, my Lenovo laptop is charging from the 60 watt USB-C power delivery port and is charging at about 36 watts. Um, and uh, I have my Galaxy Note 9 charging from the Type A quick charge port, and that's fast charging. So yeah, the charging ports uh, perform how they're supposed to. You're going to be able to charge uh, most USB-C chargeable laptops, uh, tablets, and phones. It would have been nice to have a 100 watt power delivery port because that's uh, that's something that's actually present on a lot of jump charters, such as that Loki Thor one I reviewed as um, as well. But yeah, I mean overall, uh, when you are charging devices, uh, it does show an icon right over here. To show that uh, that charging is happening. All right, you guys. So just back with the Hop Crew uh, jump starter, and I am testing out the recharging right over here. I'm gonna input this uh, USB-C cable into the uh, USB-C port on the jump starter. Um, you know, once again, I am using the included uh, 60 watt, or I think this is a 65 watt uh, power delivery wall charger that came in the box, and I am using this uh, River 2 power station to uh, track the wattage output of the charger and basically the recharging speed of the jump starter and uh yeah in this case i am uh recharging the unit at about 73 watts uh not too sure if that's accurate or not but uh yeah i mean it, it's gonna it's definitely 60 watts or at least higher than 60 watts i'm gonna move on to testing out the uh, dc port real quick to see if i'm able to use it in the first place um if it works at all uh with this uh dc to cigarette lighter adapter i'm gonna try to see if i'm able to power my uh bodega cooler uh with it and uh yeah i'm gonna see how this goes i'll be right back all right guys so just back with the hop crew uh jump starter and i'm using the included uh cigarette lighter port dc uh, barrel port adapter uh with the jump starter um and so yeah um i am actually able to power this uh, bodega cooler from it um wasn't expecting this but at the same time this uh, bodega cooler requires i think 60 watts of uh power in, in order to run and the uh, dc barrel port is able to output 120 watts 
And yeah, I mean, it's working. You can actually use the uh, included um, adapter to power a cooler if you have one that's compatible to use this, this type of connection. Because right, right over here, I have this uh, car socket outlet adapter for the Bodega cooler uh, that came with the unit. Um, so this is one way that you could use it. Um, and also you could use a uh, tire pump that also uses this type of connection as well. The tire pump that I have is too powerful for the DC barrel port to be powered from. Um, but yeah, anyways, I just want to show you guys this uh, to show what you could use the included adap adapter for. And uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. I've um, got to say. All right, you guys, so just outside with the Haku uh, jump starter, I just want to show how you would use it. Um, just like any other jump starter, really, I do have the cables inputted into the jump starter uh, port right up there. And so you just connect the jumper clamps to the battery, you know, the uh, positive to the positive and the negative to the negative. And you do have to press the power button uh, for the jump starter as well. Uh, but one thing that's missing from the screen is that there's no voltage reading. Uh, it just says ready, and then you're ready to start your car, and that's really about it. Um, and so I'm just going to go ahead and start the car. Um, I, I don't have a dead battery, so just something to know. I'm just showing you how you would go about using it. Okay, and then just put the key in. And just like that. There we go. I mean, if I did have a dead uh, battery, it would be... Um, more dramatic, I suppose, but yeah, there we go. That's really about it. And uh, once your car is started, you can just uh, remove the clamps and you're done. That's really about it. Um, and you know, once again, it doesn't show the uh, battery voltage on the screen. So that is one uh, pretty big flaw for such a uh, high output battery jump starter. All right, you guys, so just my final thoughts for this Hop Crew H6 uh, 6000 Peak uh, portable jump starter. It's a pretty neat one. You know, tons of uh, jump starting power. You're going to be able to jump start most batteries uh, with this. Um, you know, once again, I'm sorry that I don't have a dead battery on hand uh, with the car. So I wasn't able to fully uh, test out the uh, jump starting capabilities of it. But, uh, you know, 6000 uh, Peak Current is going to do you very well. This is going to be probably the most reliable uh, jump starter that you could own. I'm not saying the specific jump starter because there are so many other 6,000 peak current jump starters on the market as well, I think. Um, but, you know, for the cost, uh, the cost, I think, of this is a bit lower than uh, competitors, um, you know, especially leading brands. Uh, you know, the cost comes at a reasonable price at the time of make at the time of making this video. That is, you know, I will have a product page uh, link down in the description below. Um, and also, you know, the included accessories are nice. You get a power delivery wall charger, a uh, type C cable, the jump starting clamps, of course, um, that's included, that's included with every single jump starter. Uh, the carrying case is also pretty nice. Um, I was able to power a cooler using this thing. Um, the charging ports, uh, are pretty good as well. And even when you're dealing with a dead battery, it has that like boost feature right over here that you can just hold down and it outputs as much power to the battery as possible to get a dead battery to jumpstart and actually like power your vehicle. So that's a pretty cool touch. Uh, this is a feature that's included with most modern jump starters. Really not much else to say. I will have a link to the product page down in the description below. Um, and, I'll, and also I will have a link to the review article over at chargerharbor.com in case you want to read a review uh, for the unit as well. And I will see you all on the next video, all right? Goodbye.